You want a big TV? Well, let's talk about your options. I'm going to start with some general information that you may find helpful. If you want just the recommendations, skip to this time code right here. Okay, so big TVs are cheaper than ever. We'll be talking about TVs that are around 75 inches or slightly larger. OLED panels don't come in 75 inch sizes, but they do come in 77 inch ones. Also be aware that CNET has reviewed the 65 inch models of these televisions. So when you're seeing them in this video, you're getting an idea of the overall look and design. Keep in mind a couple of things. If you don't like the built-in smart TV system, you can always add a media streamer for more content. We've got lots and lots of reviews of those at CNET.com. Also, you may wanna look into external speakers so you can get big sound with your big TV. We've got that covered at CNET as well. I'll be using the term local dimming in this video. Here's what that means really quick. LCD televisions require a backlight. These days, there are usually an array of LED lights behind the LCD panel. Local dimming is a method of dimming the area of the screen that needs it while keeping the bright parts of the screen bright. Then there's full array local dimming. That means an array of individual LEDs behind the LCD panel. If you're into HDR content, full array local dimming can really help an image pop. Now you won't hear those terms used for OLED displays because OLED displays do not require a backlight. Each individual pixel can be turned on or off, meaning you can get pure black on an OLED TV. There's a lot more to TVs, so take a look at CNET.com if you wanna get informed about anything that you want. Let's start with the best 75 inch TV for the money. That would be the TCL 6 series. The model you're looking for is the 75R635. This 4K TV has full array local dimming using mini LEDs. Mini LEDs are smaller than regular LEDs, meaning you can pack a lot more of them into the same space. That will translate into better contrast on this LCD TV. The TCL 6 series actually had better contrast and better brightness than some TVs that are more expensive. Those mini LEDs do a very good job of making sure dark areas look dark and bright areas look bright. The design is pretty sleek, thin bezels all around with some metallic accents. From the side, this isn't the thinnest TV out there, but you'll be watching the screen, not the side, right? The legs are kind of large and require a deep piece of furniture to hold it up. This TCL has Roku TV built in. That means you can get all kinds of apps in a simple interface along with a simple remote. The TCL 75R635 retails for around $1,400, but you can find it for less online. Let's move to the mid-priced models with the Sony X90J series. The 75 inch model is called the XR75 X90J. I know, that's super easy to remember. In CNET's tests, the X90J did not perform as well as the TCL 6 series, but they were very close. The X90J has full array local dimming, which meant great image quality, deep black levels, bright highlights, and excellent accuracy. Be aware that this Sony did not get as bright as some other TVs, which could be an issue if you put this TV in a super bright room. Let's talk about design. You'll see tiny black bezels surrounding the display. The angled feet are similar to the TCL we just mentioned. The remote is very old school Sony. Lots and lots of buttons. The X90J ships with Google TV built in. That means you get access to thousands of apps without needing an additional box. If you're looking for a great Samsung TV, take a look at the Samsung QN90A series. This TV uses mini LEDs behind the screen. Samsung says they are 40 times smaller than a standard LED. That means you get precise illumination. When it comes to design, the QN90A is pretty slick. Very slim bezels around the display and the stand is centralized on the bottom. Samsung even added in some channels where you can hide wires. The remote is equipped with a solar panel. Samsung says you can charge it using standard indoor lighting or sunlight. It can also be charged using USB-C. You get Samsung's own menu system with plenty of apps. It also lets you tweak settings without having your entire picture blocked. That's kind of neat. There's also something Samsung calls the game bar. You hold down a button on the remote and you can see stats like frames per second in real time, input lag, and more. Let's talk about picture quality. CNET's David Katzmeyer said, this is the best LCD based TV I've ever tested and an excellent high end alternative to OLED. The QN90A could achieve about twice the brightness in its most accurate picture mode of an LG G1 OLED TV. The QN90 had excellent black levels, very close to OLED. Off angle viewing was not as good as OLED. The Samsung image became a little washed out. Okay, I've been talking about OLED a lot just now. That brings us to the best 77 inch TV you can buy, the LG OLED 77 G1P. 
LG made this thing incredibly thin and slim. The G1 is meant to be hung on a wall and it comes with a mount. Once hung, the G1 sticks out from the wall, a whopping one eighth of an inch or a little over three millimeters. If you wanna place the TV on a cabinet or something, the feet will cost you an extra $100. This TV had the best picture quality we have ever tested. The G1 panel gives you better color and better brightness, although the improvement is subtle compared to other LG OLED televisions. So if the style of the G1 didn't hook you, take a look at the LG C1 series to save a few bucks. As for smarts, LG has its own smart TV interface. The remote lets you mouse around to different apps. Both Google and Amazon voice assistants are available. There's also a game optimizer mode with picture presets just for gaming. The LG G1 series in its 77 inch size will run you around $4,000. Now, new models of televisions come out all the time, so browse around CNET.com for more information. We've got so many tips to help you get the most out of your TV. We've even got suggested picture settings for some televisions if you like tinkering with your tech. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.